Hey Cal Poly, personal trainer Mike here with the Cal Poly Recreation Center and today I'm going to take you through a hip flow movement series. It's called a hip flow because of its seamless ability to efficiently transition from exercise to exercise. This can be used as a mobility routine or a warm-up routine. Um, this is actually a derivative of the Cal Poly strength conditioning and athletics uh, warm-up routine. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is going to get down into a plank position, a straight arm plank. Shoulders stacked above the hands, and we're going to do six repetitions going from a straight arm plank into a down dog, hips up high, head and chest past your arms. Two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to hold the sixth rep. Take one leg up as high as you can. Hold this position here and do three ankle circles each direction. And three, bring that foot all the way through into a deep lunge here, back leg is straight. You're gonna then take this inside arm up and rotate towards the sky, turn the head with you, elbow towards the ground for one. Here's two, three, five, and six. Still working with this arm here, going on the inside of the knee. You're gonna push your knee out for six reps. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Both hands planted on the ground. This straight leg hip, you're gonna to rotate towards the ground, low as you can, come back up to neutral. Okay, nice long spine. Two, three, four, five, and six. From here, you're gonna put your back knee on the ground. Hands don't move above the shoulders. You're gonna push your hips back, round your back, tuck your chin, and then bring your hips forward, chest up tall. That's one. Moving forwards and backwards here, two. So you're gonna feel this in the front hip flexor as you go forward, and then hamstring as you go back. Five and six. Now from here, I'm set up in a good lunge position. I can just come right up. You're gonna squeeze your butt and then move your hips forward back and forth for six reps. Really working on that hip flexor now. I may feel it in the quad as well. Keeping that glute contraction. Once you do six there, front knee is gonna come down into a pigeon stretch. And then from here, you're gonna do 10 push-ups. Chest as low as you can to the ground. Lock the arms out while you're maintaining a good stretch in that glute for 10 reps. So that's the first phase for this side of the body. You're gonna repeat that whole thing for the other side, okay? All right, so after you've done your 10 push-ups from a pigeon stretch position, you're gonna repeat that whole circuit for the other leg now, okay? So you're gonna get back into a push-up position and start your six down dog again. Okay, now that we've done that first sequence on both legs, from this pigeon stretch position, you're just gonna bring that knee in a little bit, and now you're set up to do 
what we call a shim box. You're gonna roll back, both hands planted, knees on the ground, foot in the middle here. You're gonna rotate and see if you can go back and forth uh, between that position there without having to move your feet, chest up tall, other side. And then you can throw in some hip extension there, squeeze your glute, back down, other side. So you do this for six repetitions here. Three each side. Once you've done your six here, six total, now we're set up to go into a single leg, or a single arm, sorry, glute bridge. Three reps here. Three, other arm for three. And three, and then double arm, big stretch in the arms, both legs at the same time. One, we go six reps here, two, three, four, five, and six. And then to finish it out, stretch that lower back out. A couple of rolls here, six reps. If you want to make it spicy, big one, that last one, stand up, and you are done.